in this video. Basically, it slows down the whole process, and honestly, I did that on purpose. Let me introduce you to a new employee of Callaway. In partnership with Age of Union, this year, El Nino is back, and it's bringing along the risk of wildfires in Indonesia. Calawait is over here in Borneo, working closely with the folks of Butong and Buntok Baru to keep Doolin Forest safe. Right now, I'm on the old trail, you know, the one south of the reserve, right next to where we drop off the fruits. I'm going to post up here and send a group text to the guard crew to tell them there's a fire starting. Because today, I'm going to train them on how to respond to this kind of emergency. I want to see their reaction time, how long it takes for them to transport water to a specific location. For example, if we spot a fire outbreak during an aerial patrol. Let's see how it goes. Andrew's there with them to document how they gear up. It's crucial to practice to identify the issues be it issues with the equipment, people, or finding the quickest way to transport water to an emerging fire. Oh man, it looks like some pigs passed through here last night. There are footprints everywhere. They must be thinking, sweet deal, they're dropping fruits here, free grub for us. <laughs> Click the link above to watch the previous video about aerial fruit dropping. Thankfully, the Dulan forest isn't a peat forest, unlike the south of the island where wildfires are more common and way more destructive. Cheney sent a message to the guards about a wildfire. The base camp is about four kilometers from where the fire started. The crew now needs to show they can hustle and arrive at the scene in no time. Let's say if a fire really broke out here, we need to find out how long it'll take to get water here to put out the fire. Ironic, really. The guys are going to have to jump into the lake. Meanwhile, down south in the risk zone, they're praying for a drop. So it's been 20 minutes since I lit the smoke grenade. Still waiting on the guys. It's always this fast-growing, low-lying vegetation that dries up during the dry season and poses a fire risk. Fires are most likely to start here, not in the lush forest. It's worth mentioning, in the lush forest, the vegetation is so high that the sun can't reach the ground, so the ground stays pretty moist. I have to be quick. I don't want to slow down the guys. The guys made it to the site and now they are heading over to the closest tank to pump some water. So I deliberately picked a site that's smack dab in the middle of two tanks, so the guys have to use a hose from each tank. Let me explain. Each tank installation has a 100-meter hose, and the tanks are 400 meters apart from each other. 
so two hoses from each tank are needed to reach the site that's exactly in the middle. And the guys forgot this detail. So now the team is going to fetch a second hose from the tank on the other side. So it slows down the whole process, and I actually did it on purpose. And finally, the water arrived at the site. The water has reached the start of the fire. It took an hour with the slight delay because of the hose. If it wasn't for that, I reckon we could have done it in half an hour, 35 minutes tops. Great! But all that is not enough. So obviously what you've seen is one of the things that Callaway will do if we spot a fire starting in the south of Doolin. But it's not the only thing. Besides the team trying to put out the fire like this, we'd love to have the kind of gear they have in France, like fire lamps, water bombers, you know, but we don't. So we make do with what we got. But alongside that, we've agreed with the villagers, if there's a fire starting, they'll come help us make sure this old trail south of the reserve works as a fire break by cutting back some bushes and all that along the trail to stop the flames from crossing. So that's one of the plans if a fire starts, but fingers crossed it never happens. And I'd like to introduce a new employee of Callaway, who gets paid only with cat food. His name's Ninja, and he's the guy at the plane hangar making sure there are no rats. So his job's super important because mice and planes don't mix well. In collaboration with the Indonesian Air Sports Federation and the Indonesian Air Force, the seaplane has a big role too. You saw it with the guys on the ground, bringing water to a fire start site in the south, with villagers helping us make fire breaks. And obviously the plane is central to Callaway's firefighting efforts, because it lets us patrol every day during the dry season to spot fires starting. We can see smoke from miles away, of course. And also, where there are villagers, not necessarily near the reserve. People who use fire to burn their plots or piles of branches on their plots. When we spot that, we fly over, circle around, honk the horn. Yeah, there's a horn to make sure we show them that we're watching. And if they don't control their fire, they're going to be in troubles. That's the plane's role in discouragement. So people are a lot more careful because if a fire starts tomorrow, we'll know where the fire is coming from, where it started. And people will be held accountable. So it puts a bit more pressure on them and I think that's great. It really is a crucial part of Callaway's strategy to fight fires. Let's hope that the Doolin forest is safe from fires and the rest of the damaging activities of humans. We'll never stop working, with your support, to protect this forest in partnership with the local people and authorities. Thanks to all of you who support us in securing and protecting more and more forests. Together, let's keep setting aside more safe havens for biodiversity. If you're not already, become a friend. Thanks, guys.